So today we're in the Blue Mountains and we're at Wentworth Falls. We're going to be doing the newly opened Grand Cliff Top Walk. This walk is a 19 kilometre walk that goes from Wentworth Falls to Katoomba. We'll be looking for these track markers along the way. Now this walk takes in some of the most majestic views that the Blue Mountains has to offer. We're starting this walk at Wilson Park and we're starting with Darwin's Walk and the first stage of this one goes until Gordon Falls Picnic Area. Let's go. Darwin's Walk was very badly damaged during a 1 in 100 year flood. Extensive upgrades have taken place and some of those upgrades are still ongoing. So along this track so far, signage has been very good. We've had lots of these signs telling us various locations. We've been following the sign to the Wentworth Falls picnic area. 1.3 k's in and we've reached our first official Grand Cliff Top Walk sign and it has the yellow-tailed black cockatoo on it. Uh, we've got 17.4 kilometres to go till we get to Scenic World. It has taken four years to build and upgrade these tracks for the Grand Cliff Top Walk. So as we said earlier, the Darwin Walk is still being upgraded. This part of the track, the lower section is currently closed and there are some detours in place. Wow, with the fog blanketing the valley from Wentworth Falls Lookout, it just looks spectacular. So we're going to do the very short uh, Weeping Rock Circuit. This rejoins onto the Grand Cliff Top Walk a little further around, and it's got one of the most spectacular waterfalls you'll see. All along the Grand Cliff Top Walk, there are some beautiful vantage points. We're currently at Fletcher's Lookout, and the views from here, spectacular. The Grand Cliff Top Walk is a joint project between New South Wales National Parks and Blue Mountain City Council. We've just finished along the undercliff track. If you're new to the toilet, head up to Wentworth Falls picnic area. We're going to continue the Grand Cliff Top Walk this direction though across the bridge and we're going to make a quick detour down to Dentonella. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please give it a like, leave a comment and consider subscribing to my channel. So for the sake of 200 metres each way and quite a few stairs, the views from Denfinella Lookout are really worthwhile. That view over the valley out to Mount Solitary, spectacular. And let's not forget, we had those beautiful cascades along the way. So we've just finished the Overcliff uh, track. At this junction, you've got two options. One is to head up to the Conservation Hut. There are toilets, food and drink up there, or as we're gonna do, continue along the Grand Cliff Top Walk. So the views from Queen Victoria Lookout, above the Valley of the Waters and out across the Jamison Valley, just beautiful. So we've reached Empress Lookout. This is above the Valley of the Waters. Down below us you can see Empress Falls. This is probably one of the most popular canyons in the Blue Mountains. We've reached another intersection. At this point, you can choose to deviate down to the bottom of Empress Falls and onto Sylvia Falls. We're not doing that today. There's lots of crowds down there and we've been to those falls many times in the past. We're going to continue along the Grand Cliff Top Walk and keep going on our way. Mm -hmm. 
this bridge takes you above Empress Canyon. As we said previously, that is probably the most popular canyon in the Blue Mountains. We'll add a link in and you can watch the video that we did of Empress Canyon. This section does have plenty of steps. So you'll notice as you skirt around the golf course that there are a lot of boardwalk sections. So just after you finish skirting around the golf course, you skirt around the Fairmont Resort. So this section down Sublime Point Road is just a road bash. As yet, there's no walking track. Thank goodness that bit of road bash is over. For the Grand Clifftop Walk, I'm a bit disappointed that there was such a long road bash section, quite unsafe as there's no footpath along the edge of the road there. Let's get down to some real bush walking. So we've just taken a bit of a deviation off the main track. It's only a short one, but how good are the views of the three sisters from this angle? There's in that section. We're at Golf Links Lookout. Majestic views over the valley here with Mount Solitary, the Ruined Castle and the Three Sisters. Just before you get to the end of stage one at Gordon Falls Reserve, you pass by the stunning Pool of Siloam. So we've reached the end of stage one. We're just about to head into Gordon Falls picnic area. Uh, there are some temporary toilets here. There is a toilet block going to be built in the future. Uh, we're gonna stop here for a spot of lunch before we head into stage two. After leaving Gordon Falls picnic area and starting stage two, the track is currently closed due to a landslide. So we're taking the detour via the road. So that road detour was actually quite short, only about 150 metres. We're now heading down to Elysian Rock. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please give it a like leave a comment and consider subscribing to my channel. The views over Bridal Vale Falls from this lookout, just stunning. It's turning into quite a warm day. We're just heading down along the lower section of Lura Cascades. It's much cooler walking down along here than what it was up along the cliff line. Make sure you take plenty of water as there are only a few refilling stations along the way. Please don't be tempted to drink untreated water from creeks or waterfalls. come up from Lura Cascades and the top of Bridal Vale Falls. If you want to go to the bottom of Bridal Vale Falls, take the downhill track. If you want to continue along the Grand Clifftop Walk, take the up track. This unique rock formation gives Fossil Rock Lookout its name. Over $10 million has been spent constructing and upgrading these walking tracks.
So we're almost at Echo Point now. If you want to go and visit the Three Sisters, you need to take the track down here. If, however, you want to go along the finish the Grand Clifftop Walk, we're going this way. So we've reached Echo Point. This place is always teeming with tourists. There is, however, toilet facilities here and one bubbler if you need to refill your water. We're on the last stretch of stage two now and we've only got about 45 minutes to go. Over 5,000 sandstone steps have been installed along this walk. Kachuba Cascades, and it seems I'm here with a hundred of my closest personal friends. One of the last sections before you get to Scenic World is the Kachuba Night Walk. When it's dark, this is all beautifully lit up. At the time of filming, not all sections of the Grand Clifftop Walk have been upgraded, completed and opened. Well there you have it, the Grand Clifftop Walk, approximately 19 kilometres from Wilson Park in Wentworth Falls through to Scenic World at Katoomba. We chose to do this as one long day, however you can break it up into stages. There are absolutely majestic views across the valleys and beautiful waterfalls that you pass along the way. The majority of this track has been upgraded, however there still are some sections that are yet to be upgraded and there are detours in place along here. We really hope that we've, we've inspired you to come and do this walk and we hope that you enjoy it as much as we did. <laughs>